Today is August 26th, 2018. What we're looking at here in this stainless steel pot is a kombucha scoby that I removed from my jug. This scoby has been with me since April of 2018. It actually started out as a bottle of kombucha and it first formed a layer that looked like this and then as I added tea to it it kept growing and growing and getting thicker and thicker and thicker. The brown stuff that you see in here this is yeast what happens is when the kombucha is sitting in the tea, it forms this ugly brown layer. And this is the yeast clinging to the scoby. Or, and it, it, it's what kombucha is, is a combination of, of yeast and a combination of um, yeast and bacteria um, and the yeast forms this brown layer that clings to the white scoby and the bacteria form the scoby it's a cellular mesh formed in the kombucha now this is ugly this is ugly Look at this. This looks like something out of a horror film. But the truth be known, and see that brown liquid in there? That brown liquid is gold. That is the next liquid I would use if I was starting up a new brew. I would put that brown liquid, which is loaded with yeast and, by the way, B vitamins. And I would put this in my next batch. But this time what I'm doing is I'm separating out the scoby. This one's really thick and it's clung together pretty well. So what I'm doing is I'm separating this out. And I'm actually going to refrigerate this. And I'm going to eat it. I kid you not, I'm going to eat it. I started eating this one right here in the jug. Isn't that ugly? That looks like something out of the backside of an animal. But uh, it's not. It's It's... A scoby with yeast and that yeast let me show you this that's yeast and scoby together doesn't that look just absolutely terrible and it looks like snot now this is my play table where I have different flavors of kombucha that I started from that brew that was in this jar this jar I took it upstairs and I washed it out and I cleaned it out. I separated out the scoby, part of this scoby right here. And I put it inside this jar along with this gold fluid, this brown fluid, which is gold. This, this fluid is the starter fluid that helps the scoby establish itself in, it helps the scoby establish itself. Now I've cleaned my fingers real well. What you're seeing is the brown slop that comes off the, the kombucha. I cleaned my fingers real well. I washed my hands thoroughly. Then I soaked them in, in uh, white vinegar, which gets any residue of soap off, which may have an effect on the bacterial growth of the scoby. So there you have a baby scoby, a young scoby from the last batch that formed on top of this batch right here. This thick, gelatinous, ugly batch. That looks horrible. Folks, this is what a SCOBY looks like. When you've had continuous... Now, I've had this stuff in the jar for months, continuously growing. And it gets, it gets to look like this. And it's not very appetizing, but you know what? It makes the absolute most delicious tea. And when you've got a SCOBY that's this healthy, and you have brew that's this healthy, you put a... A gallon of tea in there or this jar holds up two two gallons you put two gallons of tea in there it's fermented it's brewed in seven days it's done 
And it's cool down here where I've got this at. So what I'm doing is this SCOBY, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to refrigerate it, and I'm going to eat it. As disgusting as it looks, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to finish eating this one today. No calories in that. All it is is just cellulose. The probiotics pass through and go into your gut and, and form a form a, uh, a layer in your gut that helps with the probiotics in your stomach. And that's the way it is. I'm David Dean. And it's August 22nd, I mean, I'm August 26th, 19, or, uh, I can't even say it right, August 26th, 2018. And this is an unedited video, excuse me, but I'm putting it on the inter internet as unedited too. This is what kombucha scobies look like when they've been continuously brewed.